Hey guys, let's talk about Tom Fowler. That's right, Tom Fowler. T O M F A L H T A R or E R. Not really sure because there's a lot of Tom Fowlers in the world. However, YouTube is very protective, very protective of Tom Fowler because Tom Fowler, he's a pedophile and a criminal. And of course, well, we have to treat criminals with just, you know, we have to, you know, equal under the law, right? Everyone is equal under the law, right? Well, no, except me, because when I, when I, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you why I'm so uh, annoyed. And I'm, I'm sure my haters are going to get off on this. I can get the dang share thing open. Oh, it's just it's just so wonderful what they're pushing, what they're pulling. Yes, uh, this is to notify you we have received a privacy complaint. Oh, a privacy complaint. Oh, in less than 24 hours on a Sunday morning. Oh, YouTube support. Oh, YouTube support. Oh, you know, whenever, whenever, whenever I hear from YouTube support, I, I, I listen to the, I, I read the letter as if it's Morty from ta Morty from Rick and Morty talking. That's literally what I'm picking it up as. That's literally what I'm getting it as. That's literally what I'm reading it as. I'm, I'm hearing somebody saying, "Oh, dear Nick Bravo, oh, the, 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 this is to notify you that we we received a complaint." <laughs> the information reported is violating privacy. Privacy. Oh, YouTube cares so much about privacy. That's why when I spend, when I mention the name of Tom Fowler, Tom Fowler, Tom Fowler, which I will do several times because I'm not afraid of the motherfucker, the criminal pedophile that he is. Um, when it's about somebody else's privacy, YouTube, you know, swoops down out of the clouds and they're like, let's hammer all the, you know, you know. Bring the hammers of justice. Ah. I sit there and I repeatedly send forms to YouTube about harassment and bullying and privacy and slander and etc. Long fucking emails, long letters about this is this is a violation of your guidelines about bullying, cyber stalking, harassment, trolling, blah 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 blah. YouTube, what's up? What's YouTube's consistent fucking answer to me response to me we don't see any problem with what anybody's doing to you no, no problem see here's the thing we're all supposed to be equal under the law the fact that you're not treating me equally you're not treating my situation equally you're swooping down from on high where i can't even fucking have a conversation with you people youtube support team you fuckers don't support anybody how the fuck is tom fowler this motherfucking cocksucking pedophile the disgusting piece of shit that he is tom fowler how was he able to get youtube to respond in less than 24 hours on a fucking weekend but i sit there and i show evidence repeatedly show evidence to youtube and youtube says we don't see a problem see here's the thing the fact that I'm not being treated equally under the law tells me that YouTube policy is illegitimate. That YouTube has no real authority over me or anything I say. They are illegitimate. When you sit there and you claim that you are the lawmakers and you uphold the law, but you're not going to treat people equally under the law, you've already destroyed your own credibility. You've shot yourself in the foot. You've literally shot yourself in the foot. So don't sit there and say, because because I mentioned the fact that Tom Fowler, for whatever fucking reason, and I will talk about it later in this video, that he decided for whatever reason to hand, uh, he, he decided to investigate me personally and I uh, hand to the prosecution of LA, Cal LA City or whatever, all the information they needed to go after me and convict me of real estate fraud. They had no question about it. They they were like kids at Christmas. They were like, I mean, they were so excited about the fact that they got somebody to put in prison. They didn't care. Well, why is this guy doing this? Is there any legitimacy to this? No. 
they didn't care. I got railroaded. I got railroaded by people who I thought were my friends. I got taken advantage of by people who I thought were my friends. And that's what they did. Now, you may be wondering, how did I come across Tom Fowler? Well, I was in Toastmasters. Um, this is making me so fucking pissed off. I was in Toastmasters. And I met Tom Fowler. At the time, I did not know he was a pedophile. I did not know that he likes to take pictures of, uh, with his photography business, take pictures of, of young girls and then basically sell those pictures to pedophiles on the open pedophile market. And we know those pedophiles stick together, which I got to kind of wonder, why is my, why is, uh, why is my, uh, my little favorite little pedophile, Tom Fowler, uh, so desperate to protect the guy who conned me into committing real estate fraud, who used me as a patsy. Why? Well, what's the connection there? Are they both pedophiles? Because I know from the happy cabby situation, and I found out, oddly enough, I found out later, Tom Fabler actually admitted this. The reason that he went after me was, number one, he was jealous because I had a fucking Ford Mustang convertible. And number two, he was angry that I went after Happy Cabby. He was angry that I exposed a pedophile. Because these, that's how these pedophiles are. These fuckers will defend each other to the death. And they don't even have to know each other. Because it's evil. It's a legacy of evil. This is, this is what these people do. Evil defends evil. So Tom Fowler, the pedophile, uh, at the time I did not know he was a pedophile, he wants to take but a quarter of that, fine, not a problem. We can investigate the fact that he's a pedophile and we can subpoena people. I, we can do this. We can do this, Tom Fowler. If you want to do this, we can do this. Um, it's up to you. It's your choice. You want to keep harassing me? And I, I promise you, Tom Fowler, I promise you, Tom Fowler, your, your name is going to be one of the names I mentioned in my memoir. I'm not going to be afraid to mention names. You motherfuckers have caused me so much goddamn grief in my life. My whole fucking life, I have been caused more grief by you fucking pedophiles than anybody else in my life. I mean, the, the, the fake Christians are bad enough. The fucking atheists, they were really bad. But the fact that I have pedophiles, because they hear that I'm anti-pedophile. I'm anti-pedophile. I hate pedophiles. I would string every goddamn one of them up if I could, if it was legal. And it should be, because a pedophile, they're scum of the earth. They are literally scum of the earth. But when I knew Tom Fowler, when I first met him, I thought he was just, uh, you know, somebody going to Toastmasters. I thought he was just another person, you know, trying to get into comedy. And I did comedy with him. And he was jealous of the comedy that I was doing. That's the third reason he went after. He was jealous of the comedy. I mean, he was, his, his bit was boring. Nobody was laughing. I was supposed to be opening for him. He was. He wanted to basically send little, uh, send uh, comedy things to comedy clubs and whatnot. You know, I had to give up my fucking co possible career on comedy because I had my motherfucking uh, stalker hunting me down in Pasadena and beating me up in public, beating me up in the street. I'm not even allowed to defend myself. I'm told, nope, sorry, if he does that, that's his right. <laughs> It's a fucking restraining order against me. Inexplicably, despite the fact that the judge seeing the violent assault. I'm not even supposed to talk about these things because I made him feel bad. And oh, a judge got, a judge wrote something down on paper. A judge, oh man, a judge. Oh. I don't care, I, again. This goes back to the incompetent, contemptible legal system. You don't want to hold people equally under the law. Therefore, the law does not apply to me. You want to be ethical? You want to judge? Judge equally. Look at the context of the situation. These people do not want to do this. YouTube is obviously doing this. YouTube is sitting there saying, well, Tom Fadler gets to be treated special. So within 12 hours... Less than 24 hours, little Mr. Tom Fowler gets YouTube to say, 
Nick, you, we, we found that you notified you that you did something we don't like. It means privacy violation. Privacy, privacy, privacy. Oh. But then again, I keep sending forms. I keep writing letters. I keep begging YouTube. I'm like, here are the facts of the situation. Here's how this video is violating my privacy. Here's how these people are violating, harassing me. Here's how all these people and all their videos, minute by minute play of how they're fucking violating YouTube policies. And YouTube says, we don't see a problem. <laughs> It's insane. It it's insane. It's absolutely fucking insane. You know, it's just insane. I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody having my back within any power. Where where's where's my fucking job so I can make money to hire fucking lawyers? What little money I do get from the fucking job that I have isn't it barely fucking enough to do anything with. I don't have $10,000 to have a lawyer on retainer. I don't have thousands of dollars to pay a private detective to find out who these people are. I sit there and I'm dependent, I'm dependent on the ethics, the sense of ethics and justice that these fucking places like a legal, a legal system or YouTube, oh, we care so much about justice and ethics. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're letting Tom Fowler do this. You're letting Tom Fowler dictate what videos I can make and what videos I can't. Meanwhile, you people are letting all these fucking people say whatever they want about me as if I'm some kind of public persona. I'm not a public persona. I'm a private person. Leave me the hell alone. You won't do it. You won't do it. I mean, I could understand if I was some big name celebrity, I would understand. I'd be like, yeah, you know, public persona. I'm not a public persona. I'm being, I'm, I'm suffering the negative aspects of being a public persona. I'm suffering the harassment, the defamation, the libel, the slander. But I'm, I don't, I don't have any of the benefits. I, I don't have a platform where I can sit there and say, here's what really happened. I mentioned Tom Fowler, a person who is continually harassing me, and he cries to YouTube, oh, 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 I'm Tom Fowler, I want to be a bad mother out there, I feel bad. And YouTube goes, oh, we'll defend you, Tom Fowler. Oh, poor baby. Keep the change, you filthy animal.